Hey, this is Saul Roth, actor, artist, and athlete. We're doing a quick follow-up to the post I did with a vlog on Film Hub, which is the aggregator and distributor I use to put my independent film, Saul Rossi Edition, and other films before that, onto places like Amazon Prime and Tubi TV. A few of you at home or in your office reached out to me, different filmmakers, and had some very specific questions and wanted to know more. So I figured I would go into some more detail for you and answer your questions. First question that came up was if I had to insure my film, like EMG, insure delivery, like end of delivery, there's like different insurances that various distributors will require you to have. FilmUp actually did not. Now they can request you have different things depending on what, uh, mar uh, who acquired rights to your film and which channel accepted it. And the channel can ask for stuff. They might ask for like a music release. They might ask for different things that are contained in your movie. In my particular case, it was a one person film shot in my own studio, which I own. And so there was very little risk. And so the various channels and places did not ask for very much as far as paperwork's concerned. So I was able to distribute to places like Amazon and Tubi TV without them reviewing my legal work. Now, I did actually have a company structure. That was another question I got. I have a sole proprietorship, but I also have an LLC. Saul Roth Media LLC actually exists. It's a real company. It doesn't do very much right now, but it will in the future. But it does exist, so I have a real company structure to sell the rights to my films and my other productions. And I did have release forms and some of the legal work in place, but for my particular movie, there's very low risk, and so not a lot of places actually, actually, they didn't request it, so they didn't review any of that for my distribution and aggregation setup with Film Hub. So if you have a low risk film and you want to avoid having to purchase that end of delivery insurance, you could use something like Film Hub and you wouldn't have to pay for that. What filmmakers were telling me is some of the smaller like boutique distributors that had direct deals with Tubi TV required like $10,000 insurance to distribute on that platform. Now maybe they'll require it anyways, depending on, on what your movie is, but I did not have to pay that. So there you go as far as how, uh, what I used, or who specifically I used for my closed captioning, because I had mentioned that there's services that provide that for you. I used a company called Rev. I will put a link in the description to exactly where I got my closed captioning done. And I would highly recommend them, and not, not because I get anything out of it, although I will probably put a link that gives me something, but it makes no difference. I tried like three, three of them before. They're just freaking awesome. Really, really fast delivery, good support, good everything. Another question that came up was if I added myself to the IMDb. So typically, when I get in the IMDb before this would be in the, the time period where you'd submit to festivals. So the, they used to have this like without a box, now it's like film freeway. But you would like submit your film to various festivals, the festivals would then create your IMDb listing. Now if you didn't submit to any festivals, you have to submit it to IMDb yourself. Your IMDb Pro member, which you have to pay for, you can create like in development title, and then you can move that to like finish when it's done. If not, you can just wait till you submit it to Film Hub or to whatever, and then you can create it at the same time. You can explain all your stuff. That's you know you're you're in the process of distribution, and they will give you that page. And then you can link that page before you pass QA into the Film Hub metadata because they will need that. Film Hub will ask you what your IMDb page is, so you want to get that created around the same time or before that you submit to Film Hub so you can have um, all that marketing material they need to really look at. And one of them is an IMDb page. The other question I got is if I created my Google Knowledge Panel. I did not. That was automatically created. I didn't pay attention to it at all. It just kind of popped up. And then I clicked Claim so that I can control what's in there. And I submitted my ID and all the stuff and went through the steps. And that's a pretty cool marketing thing you can have. There are a couple of the sites I did correct some data. One's like, uh, real good. There's like different ones that like uh, correlate where you can watch different shows and like where you can watch different movies on what um, networks and some of them are a little slow. So I had them updated to the right references on like Tubi TV and stuff. Again, if you have a question for me, send me a video, send me an email, reach out. I'm easy to find. I'll try to answer it for you. This is just my opinion. This is my experience. I make movies, but I'm an actor first and foremost. I'm not actually qualified to give you distribution advice, but I will share my experiences with others and hopefully you can learn something from me. I'm working on another feature this year and I've got a bunch of projects, so I will talk, I will vlog everything all the way through distribution and I'll maybe make some different decisions this time, but I'm definitely happy with my decision to use Film Hub for previous projects. I would highly recommend it. And if you have any more questions about it, shoot me an email or a video. 
If you like this video, like the video and subscribe. Saul Roth.